And we do have the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. So I imagine they are not talking to us just yet. And Two of Pentacles, it's like we are trying to stay put and, um, you know, have everything up and running. Two of Pentacles is, I'm going to manage. I am going to be just fine. They don't want to talk. Well, so be it. I will continue to do my job, the Two of Pentacles. I'll continue to take more responsibility, continue my journey. My life is not on pause, is not on hold. And then you show up here with the King of Swords. Maybe from time to time we feel like uh, making them pay because King of Swords in reverse is the energy of revenge, is the energy of um, total <laughs> unfairness in connections, is the energy of anger. So we might have like from time to time, right? It's um, It's only human. Um, to feel like telling them off and uh, and being harsh about and saying whatever we were not really able to say. But baby, at the end of the day, um, Gemini, Two of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Um, good old um, common sense kicks in. The need for balance with the Six of Pentacles, the need for fairness and decisions to be at ease and at peace actually uh, surrounds you in the first week of June. We love this. Um, kind of the energy of you staying in control. That's exactly the energy, right? Juggling and keeping everything in control. Two of Pentacles, the temperance in reverse might be a Sagittarius or this is the energy of you don't need to compromise at this point. Just, you know, let's keep going kind of energy. So let's see bottom of the deck for the overall. I love this. We do have the seven of wands. Um, this Gemini is the energy of saying no when you have to. This is the energy of defending your territory. This is this is my bubble time. Um, and for some of you, you have ten of pentacles in reverse with the ten of wands. It is absolutely an ending of a very emotional situation, emotionally draining situation, and we might be at crossroads. So it's okay to say no, thank you. It's okay to excuse yourself from drama. That's the overall energy. Um, it is okay to uh, block any uh, responsibilities that they are putting on your shoulders uh, regarding this connection with somebody, this family situation, this love situation. It's okay to block, right? Any energy saying, well, Gemini, you are responsible. No, I am not. Thank you, you know? And for some of you, Seven of Wands is fighting for stability, fighting for what is yours. And it was um, taken away because we do have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe also financial situation, maybe marriage and money were somehow entangled. And we fight for what is ours. So Gemini, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for the first week of June on your side. <clears throat> and we have this persistent Ace of Cups in reversal. Um, Gemini, this might be a connection that never really took off um, or it became emotionally draining or it was and with the two of wands, crossroads. And the tower. Somebody might have said no, thank you, and uh, through you. Oh, they say it in such. They uh, they said it to you in such a hurtful way. The tower and the three of swords, right? Maybe a Virgo, or they went hermit on you, ghosting you, stonewall, right? <clears throat> and put you at crossroads and emotionally drained by the situation. The universe is saying, you know, with all this and when we get so many raw energy like the ten of cups in reverse with the ten of wands you know um and sometimes even even as a reader it's like oh boy why are you sending those messages but then i say to myself somebody out there needs to kind of see it on the table right that the situation is kind of unbearable and we need to find our way out you know when i look at this um this is how it feels this is really how it feels um and I'm like, oh, how can I say this in a sweet way, in a way where, you know, I'm not putting burdens and pain uh, on an open wound, right? So it's kind of like the universe today saying, well, somebody needs to see that that is something to be done. 
and that is this seven of wands energy to be had the energy of blocking the energies of blocking emotions that are um, not helping right with the situation or people so um gemini in the past we do have the page of wands and we do have the six of wands upright might be an aries leo sagittarius i'm sensing a lot of pride and ego I'm sensing lack of communication, what happened, probably we disconnected because of ego and um, ego issues um, of some sort. It is the energy of ghosting again, it is the energy of passion running cold with the page of wands in reverse and yet really, um, you know, pursuing the journey in some way or it's the energy of um, the perseverance even when the passion was no longer there, so... Um, well, we have the energy of conflict, I know, so you might have, you know, this connection might have ended in a conflict. And because of ego, we are not communicating right now. Um, now, the person you are dealing with, um, Gemini, they have the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. They are holding on to the betrayal. They are holding on to the feeling of hurt. This is by excellence, the energy of somebody feeling a victim of it and acting and expressing their feelings as a victim of the whole situation. Um, they might have been betrayed uh, financially in this situation They might have lost money if you've been in a um, family situation because again, Ten of Pentacles, family and money are entangled in some way. Um, they are uh, managed together, right? And um, they might actually, you know, if you ask them, they've been somehow financially betrayed, some somehow financially drained. Um, stability was taken from them and, and it's the energy, I'm a victim of it. I'm a victim and I'm going to hold on to it and it's, I'm going to define myself through this and I'm going to say it to whoever wants to um, listen to me. And mutual energy is nine of wands and the five of wands. Definitely a conflict. Somebody... Uh, actually, this energy looks like in the past that ended in a um, <laughs> nine of wands is the wounded warrior. Poor gentleman is full of bandages and uh, full of blood. So it ended um, in a very painful way. Um, we had fights. We had to protect ourselves. We had ego fights. We had betrayal. We had um, controlling through money and financial whatever. Somebody had more money than the other person and. It feels like thank God is over, honestly, Gemini. I, I, I hope you uh, you have a sense of pride in this, you know? And I even, and I love even more your energies right now. Eight, um, Ace of Swords, the clarity of vision, and the Ace of Cups in reverse, right? We might be emotionally drained. We might be emotionally confused. We don't know how we feel, but we know what we went through. We know we no longer want this. Ace of Swords, clarity of belief. I know, I have a plan, I'm smart about it. My mind is um, um, made up, right? And it's also your energy, it's like you coming back into your own energy with the Ace of Swords. So it is a beautiful energy. Um, for some of you, this might be about new beginnings. Um, this might be the clarity of the mind that allows a new beginning in some way. Can be in love, can be in work, can be anything else but love because the Ace of Cups is in reverse. Um, so it might be kind of the energy of turning a leaf in some way um, or a page in this chapter. Now this person of yours, um, Gemini, they um, are right now in the Five of Swords energy and the Hierophant in reverse, maybe you ask for a divorce and this is the energy of fighting it, not wanting a divorce. This is the energy of I'm going to make you pay. This is the energy I am not coming out of this marriage without the fight. And again, uh, might be about money. Four of Pentacles is the energy of not having enough, is the person who saves money because um, harsh times are coming. And they are, they might be very well in this energy right now. And it's I'm not going down without a fight. Gemini, I start to be concerned um, right now. Um, mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the Emperor in reverse. Can be an Aries at the distance. Can be a mom, a dad, family member involved in this. But the Emperor in reverse is uh, a manipulative energy. This is the energy of abuse of power. This is the energy of um, mind games. This is the energy of 
I am going to take the most out of it. And with the Knight of Cups in reverse, of course, can be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio you are dealing with. But um, Knight of Cups in reverse is the energy of we no longer have emotions. Um, emotional manipulation for some of you. This is the energy of emotionally drained and and mind games because we have nothing to lose emotionally, right? So I hope you see this. I hope this is the clarity you see. And this is the plan that you're going to make, actually, because this energy is fights and betrayal all over the place. So it's about time to be over. Now, moving forward, we do have the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Swords. The universe saying your mind has to be the friend. Your mind, you are in your mind and we might be a little bit stuck, but because it is, you know, mind, the, your mind has to play with you in this um, situation or has to, again, be the be the, uh, the friend, uh, be the counselor. Um, you need to see through whatever stagnation is going on. You need to see your way, um, your way forward. I absolutely love the Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, whatever this is. It's done and over with. So why overthink a situation you know now the person you are dealing with they want to apologize gemini we do have them in the page of cups and we have them in the three of wands they are waiting for an opportunity to apologize pisces cancer scorpio again feeling like a child what have i done and three of wands expect having expectations kind of if I apologize, maybe things might change. That's a combination of energies coming their way. And also, um, it's a beginning of, um, of some emotional clarity for them. And, um, and hoping to change something, you know. And, um, yeah, I know, right? They want to apologize. That's a strong energy of... Um, of apologies, but we have you in the seven of wands energy. No, thank you. Just give me what's mine, right? Now, mutual energy is between the two of you coming your way. Three of swords in reverse. We are healing this. And the queen of pentacles. Stability on all fronts. This is financial compensation. Uh, this is, yeah, we're going to heal this. Not completely. We are still in the process of healing a broken heart. But boy, financially, we are good. Queen of Pentacles, uh, you take whatever you deserve out of it. You receive, actually, um, compensation. Queen of Pentacles, and we know she's rich and we know she's generous. So you're going to have your part and they are going to have their part. But this is over. That is no love here. We have apologies. Um, and that's about it, um, Gemini. Um, no, about time to move on, about time to see things for uh, what they are, see the person for who he or she is, actually, and no longer work against your mind, right? Stagnation comes from the mind. That's a message for the first week of June. Um, and once we change the mind frame, we get the energies back into the flow. So... Um, Gemini, let's ask for some guidance. In terms of zodiac signs, right? We have Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio so many times, and now we have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Page of Wands here, and Taurus with the Hierophant. So let's ask for some guidance. And Gemini, I so love this because it is a tough, a tough situation, and the universe is reminding you, Gemini, you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. That's, um, that's a reminder, right? That's yours. You know, it's a tough situation, but you have resources. We do have, and that's an interesting one, like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving, Gemini. That's energy we receive. You are limitless and remember, if we want love, we have to be loving. And it is the law of attraction. Whatever we put out into the universe, it comes back to us. And we have consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. So now it's a time of separation for some of you. This is a time of endings in a very harsh way. And the universe is saying you are limitless. Pay attention to what you intentions you set out into the world and um, now it's time to look at your foundation in order to attract something you need to build, right? 
um, something for yourself and change something about the way you see things about you do about ways you do um, love and life so um, Gemini let's have some guardian angels we want we only going to have two one in the bottom of the deck we have nine of abundance this is about um, being single in love readings and in this one it says life is wonderful your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide with great peace and contentment will provide you um, take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts you've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy um, and that's interesting this is about being single but this is about taking care of yourself is the health card right and we do have the helper of abundance this is the knight of pentacles so although you have a lot to do it's important that you get organized first once planning is complete you can roll up your sleeves and go to work your guardian angels surround you and you are ready to help and are ready to help out this card also indicates a very loving kind and loyal friend someone with a um, big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. This person could be you. So some of you are really guided, right? To take care of yourself and also be your own friend because we have you at this uh, point a little bit stressed out. So, And Gemini, let's see now what energies we need to get back into the flow. We do have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So this situation happened uh, for you to learn something and grow out of it. Um, and no, it's right. It's um, the energy we need to get back into the flow. And no, it's not a failure. It's an opportunity. We do have perseverance, kind of like you are limitless, right? You have resources, so we have to push through. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So the energy of perseverance, we have to get it back into the flow. I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. We do have spontaneity. Um, you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. So again, right? You need to be spontaneous to get back into the flow. You need, yeah, it's, um, it's guidance, right? And if we take spontaneity back into the flow, if we put it back again into the flow, things are coming to you. We do have surrender to success. I love this. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Um, leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. And we have happiness. We forgot to be happy. Um, Gemini. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path, right? So we get the happiness back into the flow and I love the, the growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Um, Gemini, I know if you, this kind of reading, it um, points out the importance of working on yourself, all the guidance is in regards to your own stability, your own abundance, your own financial independence, your own resources, your own manifestation. You send that love out into the world, it comes back to you. Your manifestation of a new foundation, right? Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. And then you have happiness and growth. You know, it's about time we get back into that energy. Um, so Gemini, this is all that I have for you guys. Um, please let me know what you think. As always, please let me, oh uh, no, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come uh, see me next time. I really wanted to say that I hope you're going to stay safe um, out there. That's what I say for all my signs and all my people, my tribe. So Gemini, take care. See you next time. Bye.